Hey, what's going on, YouTube? I device help here. In this video, I'm going to be answering a question that you guys ask me the most on Twitter, Facebook, and on my blog. Now, what are SH blobs? How do I save them? What are they good for? How do I find them on my computer once I save them? How do I save them to my computer? And how they all work and what they're good for? This is the video that would answer that question. Now, of course, you must be jailbroken. Uh, and like I always said, if you have not jailbroken and don't know what it is, go ahead and check out my uh, YouTube channel. I have tons of video there on how to jailbreak any device. And you come right back to this video. Now, before we begin, this works the same way on iPhones, iPod Touches, and iPads. But it only downgrades your OS, not your baseband, okay? So only your OS. And only you can use your SH blobs from your own device to downgrade that particular device. You can't use somebody else's SH blobs. It would just will not work. It's only a particular identification file that will only work for your particular device to downgrade locally. For example, if Apple updates now the OS to iOS 7 or 6, whatever comes next, and you update accidentally, well then if you saved your SH blobs, you can use the application iFaith, which I have a video on, to downgrade with your SH blobs your device. That way you can re jailbreak and do your stuff. Now, like I said, you must be jailbroken. Here's Cydia. Make sure you launch Cydia. And it's really simple, guys. Cydia will automatically save your SH blobs once you jailbreak. As you can see right here on the top, Cydia has saved my SH blobs for iOS 5.0, 5.0.1, and 5.1. Now, uh, as you can see here, it's an iPhone 4S. Let me wait for Sierra to load here. So there it is. IOS, uh, iPhone 4S and iOS 5.0.1. So there it is. They're saved. Now, how do I keep them on my computer? How do I save them to my computer? Well, it's very uh, easy. Make sure you have your uh, iPhone connected via uh, USB to your computer. Now, this works. This process is exactly the same uh, on Macs and PCs for all devices. And uh, I will be using Tiny Umbrella. So here's Tiny Umbrella. I'll have a link of Tiny Umbrella in the video description down below. Let's make sure you create a folder like I did here. Uh, name it whatever you like. I've named mine uh, SH Bombs, as you can see right there. So go ahead and uh, create a folder on your desktop. It's the first thing you want to do. Uh, once your device is connected to Tiny Umbrella and you launched it, you want to go to the Advanced tab. And right here where it says Request SH Bombs from Cydia, you want to go ahead and check that. And then right here on this bubble, you want to go ahead and click. And you're going to search on this thing here, and you're going to select the folder you just created, and hit choose. Okay, simple as that. Now we go back to general, and we click simply save SH blobs. Now, once you do this, as you can see right here, now they're stored locally on this folder. My SH blobs for iOS 5.0, 5.0.1, and 5.1. Now I know where they're at. They're stored locally. I can downgrade in the future. And... Uh, I'm good to go. Now, before we finish, we go back into advance and we uncheck request SH blobs from Cydia. We make sure we uncheck that. And now we can downgrade in the future. Like I said, this works the same way for Windows and Macs. Make sure you do this process. It's very important right after you jailbreak that you do this, guys. So, uh, now I hope you like this video. If you do like this video, please thumbs up. I appreciate it and it helps me out a lot, guys. Make sure you guys come follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and my blog. That's where I keep you guys up to date with the latest information on everything Apple. And, uh, yeah, because I can't make videos on everything. So make sure you go ahead and check that. Everything will be in the video description down below, like I said. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.